Hello, people, and welcome to Sunken. Sunken, Lovecraftian horror adventure where you play as unknown protagonist, working as a night shift staff member and taking care of the beach. Every day you struggle as the environment around you changes. Certain events trigger your sanity, which slowly decays into madness. So here goes. It had been months since I'd last di dived in the water. The first thing I felt when I hit the sea was fear. I could not take showers after that. Yet, I started to swim, arms cutting through the water and pulling me forward towards the submersible. We have light. To do this, clean up the beach, take out the trash and sleep well. Rules of the beach. Never be late. Night shift does trash. Don't leave stuff or it will be stolen. Dave will come later tomorrow to install windows because we need windows to not get cold. Well, that's unfortunate. It's terribly oh, pitch black. It's expected to be. In the middle of the night. And we are probably not near a city, it's an island. The water already looks ominous as hell. This is the weakest flashlight I've ever seen. This isn't- there's no way this is a flashlight. It feels more like a lighter. But I'm supposed to take care of this beach. Coca-Cola? That's one trash. I think that's all of them. In this section, anyway. I'm gonna assume that was all, and now I should sleep. My sleeping bag. It's cozy and very comfortable. We're not done. There's gotta be more trash around here somewhere. Oh, it said something, but nothing changed. It said something, but it immediately teleported me back. Or another day has passed. So we have to put the trash in the dumpster, obviously. Now we have chips on the fucking beach. We could have just cleaned these before it went pitch black. Come on. I think that's all. Night shift is trash. Don't leave stuff or I will kill you. Yesterday's accident was not your fault. Dave was a good sailor. Thanks to God we are in sync with the ship. Alright, Cthulhu is attacking shit now. You know how grumpy he is when it comes to the pitch black day. Why is there a car there? Ominous. But I still have a job to do. But, uh, it looks like today was a clean day. Or I took my own advice. Time to check out this car. See what they're up to. 
This is Dave's car. Hey, who the fuck are you? Shit, I better go back to the cabin. How's that gonna solve anything, man? Whoa. That was a random ass bitch. I must be losing my sanity. And I sleep. Beach rules. Some uh, Lovecraft chain chanting. That's the ship. I went with them and Dave lost control. The ship sank. Where is it? I don't see it from this side. Or this high up. Something doesn't feel right. Oh, more trash. Wait, why is the dumpster there? It moved. Things are moving. So there's a bench somewhere else that I have to clean up. People are... Cthulhu is moving shit around. I hate it. It feels like the whole layout changed a little. Must be my sanity dwindling. I think that's all the crap. No. I think that's all the crap. Let's confirm. Confirmed. Hello? Dave was not drugged. Stone possessed his spirit and tried to kill us all. If you see the ship in the waters, you will be next. A small group of scuba divers reported seeing another diver with a pink tang towards them. As they went close, close diver vanished in front of their eyes. Now we got blood. All these sparkling. Look on your left. Now we can begin. Isn't that right? Here's the ship. What the fuck happened? Why am I here? How did I end up in the diving suit? Dave's body was recovered after the ship sank. The rest of the crew survived, including me. Why is there an atom bomb here? I mean, I think that's a bomb. I can barely see. When did I lose my ability to swim? There has to be a way to get back to the reality. Whoa! Oh! I'm dying! Get the shit off me! Try again? It's just a big stone. The Geragon Gerago Temple serves as our salvation. Humans come deep in the sea and dismantle our sacred place. In return, they are eaten by our savage protector Nokia. 
they who shall come know that the only way to escape is the portal. Shattered six stones together make portal, connecting our world to the unknown. If collected together, one is able to escape. Where are these stones you speak of? Shattered portal. It was Dave who destroyed it. But why? I need to find the stones and escape this place. Holy fuck, a stone! If I just wear it as a helmet, I should have no problem surviving. Ow. Alright, I got it stuck. Perfect. The portal is complete. The fuck is this? Oh. I don't know if this is Cthul make a choice. Green leads to salvation, purple leads to sacrifice. Salvation? When I restored the portal and went through it, the otherworldly monster followed me to the beach. All those screams, cries, and desperate attempts to find a place. Everyone was killed. The monster returned to its world and warned me not to interfere, as they would come back and feast once more. Restored balance. Thanks for playing. Thanks for making the game, my friend. If you guys want to find the first inning, which should be fairly easy, except the fish is pretty... uh... clingy. Uh, that was the problem. The underwater scene was frustrating because the fish is faster than you and it will just stick inside you once it just sees you and it'll kill you unless it's bugged like it is here where if you don't jump it won't kill you. I managed to get it stuck on the boat by going through it and finding the stones was a pain in the ass because it barely gave you any idea where they were. They just appeared after you picked one another. I think they should give a little bit of sound cue, and the fish should be slower than the player if it is to be a persistent threat while searching for it. Other than that, a cool Lovecraftian game. I did like the ch uh, changing beach that our sanity is dropping and random shit would appear and disappear. That was a cool one, and that'll be it for the video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it, and have a good day. I'll see you around. Bye-bye!